Well, back to our top story. The Marlebone Cricket Club has suspended three members who verbally abused Australian players in ugly scenes in the long room at Lords. The Australians entered the room at lunch when they were greeted by some MCC members who told them exactly what they thought of Bairstow's dismissal. called us cheats, they said go home. Uh, all the kind of spice that uh, you'd expect that really does liven up the series even more. Well, some newspapers in the UK have already climbed in. They are reacting to the saga already. So this is in the evening now, British time. Led by the sun on the front page, not just on the front page of sport, it's on the front page of the main paper. Out of, out of order, it says, fans in Aussie cheats bust up Stokes heroics, but England loses. Ashes dodgy wicket fury on the express spirit of cricket reduced to ashes. Moving over to the star, same old Aussies, it says. That's interesting because England has done this before, if I recall. And let's finish off with the times. I wouldn't want to win like that. That's what Ben Stokes says. But... Nothing about it was illegal. Joining us live now, former Australian cricketer Adam Dale. Uh, so, Adam, I mean, as I mentioned there, it wasn't illegal, but was it in the spirit of the game? Oh, Pete, good morning. Uh, what, a, what a great um, a test match and so much excitement. It was in, definitely in the laws of the game. And I think the way that Kerry, when you look at the replays, uh, he's done everything in the one motion. So, legally, he's out. It's a bit like the start catch. Um, they've gone back to the rules and they've uh, made the decision that the, the batsman was out. Interesting, all the activity in the long run at Lords with all the members and maybe some uh, people may lose their membership as a result of their behaviour. But, hey, we're all talking cricket and it's really exciting. Yeah, well, I mean, this is the high shot there. That's in the long room. Uh, and, ah, uh, look, Dave Warner, he's not really going to be that that put out is he by someone calling him a cheat or someone telling him to go home and it's a couple of rowdy people have, have have said a few things after a long day on the booze um but Usman Kawaja why does he keep copping it he's the nicest guy in cricket he is and I think if you look closely at the footage uh, you'll see a lot of smiles from the Aussies and and they've engaged and interacted sometimes you best not to say anything but I don't think there was too many harsh words from the Australians Maybe, as you said, a bit of alcohol got involved and a bit of emotion, but uh, they'll work through this and sort of that. And as we move on to the next, te the next test match, the England side have to work about, will have to worry about their outswinger and their cover drive because at the moment they're under pressure. Well, and Australia could really be clear winners in this series. You called it, Adam. We spoke about this last week and you, you called it. You said we would win this test. So well done to you. No, no, thank you. I don't know. I didn't think it would go down to the wire like it did potentially, but and certainly Nathan Lyons out was the big one for me. Uh, where we didn't have that option on the last day, but credit to the Australian bowlers, they stuck to their plans. And but wasn't it wonderful to watch Stokes and how he played and uh, to get that wicket and everything sort of went Australia's way from there. But it was, geez, it was exciting. Yeah, I mean, what you could argue, what does this do for baseball? I mean, people thought it was dead and buried. I, I guess it's just made a bit of a comeback there on that uh, on that last day's play. It has, and both sides looked at the conditions being, you know, they, they needed to bowl short, and that was the way that they were going to get wickets, and a high proportion of the wickets went that way. Uh, depending on conditions for the next test match, uh, but certainly uh, the baseball scenario, how sustainable it is for England. They need to technically do the right thing as well. Um, but exciting test match cricket uh, puts Australia in a great position. And certainly, you know, the girls are only one win away from retaining yeah. the Ashes and the men as well. So we're so, going to be playing some strong cricket. Yeah, Adam, I was, I was sort of, as a spectator, I was sort of getting a bit frustrated. I'm not, I'm not the expert like you are. I was getting a bit frustrated at the short balls because we were just, we were just getting thrashed around the park. So I thought, why, we are, you, why are you bowling I, so short? So is that, was that the ploy because you're eventually going to get the wickets? That's how it ended up, Pete. And I think all of us were a bit surprised that it was so... Was, they did it for such a long time and they kept persisting at it. And, um, but the, the conditions suited that type of bowling and, and it, it worked this time. Where I think if you watched the England batters last night, they played it pretty well against the Australian bowling. So we had to sort of go back to some traditional type of cricket. But in the end, the short ball was the way that we got those uh, batsmen out. 
And as we go into the next test match, as I mentioned, I think it'll all be con uh, specific to conditions. Nathan Lyon, uh, what a what what a brave guy. I mean, I I wondered why he even went out there. That he was obviously in so much pain over the weekend to go and hit hit four more runs, but um, you know, got close to actually needing those four runs. But what do we do now without him? Uh, you, you're right, and we. I mean, we won the test match with 40-odd runs to spare, but we could have needed those extra 15, so we, we did need him. Uh, young Murphy will come in. Uh, he was excellent in India, took seven wickets on debut, and he, even though he's a lot more of Lions junior and is inexperienced, but he's got some great bowlers around him and some strong people that will help him be set up well, and he's a great replacement and will be someone that will... I look forward to seeing him bowl. So do we go 3-0 here? Is it, is it, is it, are we giving them any no, chance? I, <laughs> I think uh, it'll be I, depending on the wicket. You know, if the wicket's got a little bit in it for the bowlers, it brings Broad and Anderson into the game. And I think England again have probably missed a trick there. They didn't open us up in that first day of the Test match, and we played very well. So, um, but I'm backing Australia to go three 0 up again. So, it'll be interesting oh, to lovely. see how there you go. as we go through that. But no, I'm very positive. He's got good form. Does Adam Dale appreciate you, mate? We will talk to you again soon.